home side about to take the field. This place is jumping. Here's public address announcer Alex Miniak. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He will lead this one off today. 44. Anthony Now Rizzo, Rizzo belts one, carrying well into right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. His third home run of this series. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. I thought the leadoff hitter is supposed to set the table for the guys behind him. Not the case with that swing at a bat right now. Game's changed, fellas. Get ready Batting for a second. good one. The right fielder, Nick Castellanos six. now. Nick Grounder down the line at third. Nope, but this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Freeman is under it, and he's got it for the first out. Batting third, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next, former National League MVP, Chris Bryant. Oh. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner the half of that stop. baseball right there. Javier Staying to Baez. it and through it. Not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to left. Acuna is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Well, he hit that, that ball fits. pretty well. But the, the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half. So he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Oh, and he goes the other way and he drives it out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Bryant isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And hey. he's safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. I guess their scouting that reports exists. on this guy were dead on the because it's already 2-0 in the early Warburg. going, and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap, and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. First pitch on its way. Leading up for the break. And he gets ahead 0-1. The center fielder. Enter. N.C. Arte. Oh, right back at Lester on the mound. And he'll flip Leader. on to first to record the out. Batting second. The left fielder. He's ready. Here's the first Ronald offering. Acuna. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch oh, fastball. Good, good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. 0-2 oh, oh, pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command 1-2. and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. And he struck him out. Striding Batting into the third. box, Freddie the Freeman looking to get on base Freddie. and keep this first inning alive. Freeman. Back up the middle, and Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, Batting kept fourth. his hands inside the, the baseball, base ripped the base hit up the Jump. middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you Still can't get third. discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Freeman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. 
Here's Jason Hayward now. Leading His career foul. line with Fulton Avery. A number of meetings. Jason He's one for seven. Hayward. That's lifted the other way out to left. Acuna's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting eight. Coming the to the baseman. plate now. Addison, Addison Russell. He'll get to take Russell. his first cuts here. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. He's around first heading for two. Arms pumping he's hustling for third. The relay throw but he yeah. is in there with a triple. The second this thing got past that the outfielder, got. you knew it was at least a double, John possibly a triple, Luster. but he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Stepping in now, John Lester, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. And the next in is Johan Camargo as Four they'll have Braves. five, six, and seven here Not to start the home run. half of the Johan. second. 0 and 1 the count. Camargo. Now Lester's 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Lester's 2 0 home. Ball Tried to get him there. to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Ozzy Albies, Thanks, as he'll sir. get his first opportunity in this baseman. one. Ozzie. Down the third baseline. Albies. Bryant is up with it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Batting seven. The white fielder. Hey. And there's a strike Randall. right down the heart of the plate. 0 and 1. Richard. Popped him up. Contreras has a play. Two down. Batting eight. Here now is the catcher, the catcher. Tyler Flowers. Tyler. His past history Flowers. against John Lester. Oh, He's one. got five base hits in 31 tries. He's gone down on strikes hey. 12 times as well. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swing Zero. and a miss, and that ends the inning. Leading off for the Cubs, the first baseman. Infield in the 44. overshift here. Now the pitch. Anthony Rizzo. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Up next for the Cubs, the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Ready for another chance. Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to left. Acuna is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number now two. Now batting, third baseman, Chris. Digging in, Bryant. Chris Bryant. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Liner toward right center. Grichik is there, and how about that? A three-pitch in. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Mike fulton as we Braves. move on to the bottom of inning number, number three. Mike. And Lester back to work Fulton as this Nevitt. is swung on and missed for the first strike. Hit in the air out to left field. Schwarber on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center fielder. Back to the Number top of the order there. now. And that'll Enter. bring up Ender Inciarte. Inciarte. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to He's the out. bag himself for the out. Now batting. And here's no Ronald fielder. Acuna Jr. now. Ronald Acuna Jr. And that one right down Main Street. Two out, nobody on. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really... Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. They trail things here two to nothing. 
Here's Javier Baez as we begin the top of the Leading fourth. For the Cubs. One of the keys to the securing a win, they want Javier to keep the pressure on Baez. and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Here's a huge swing by Baez and a ball sent to deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. Here's the young catcher, Contreras. Wilson Contreras. He swings and grounds it to short. Camargo's got it. On to first, oh. so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Up next for the Cubs. The left fielder. So striding forward Kyle now, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Inciarte is there, two gone. Up next for the Cubs. Standing in, Jason Hayward. Fielder. So far, Jason 0 for 1 with a Hayward. fly out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right second there. Base. Good weight transfer. Addison. Good hands to Russell. the ball. Solid contact and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. Popped him up. Camargo over to his left. And that's the third out. Cubs tack on another courtesy of this solo. Here's the first baseman, Lead Freddie Freeman. He'll match up with John Lester the now to base. lead off the inning. Freddie. Fastball swung Freeman. on and missed. And it's fouled away. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Well, he now certainly wasn't intimidated the on the mound right there. He yeah. had to stare down a really good hitter, no, no, and instead sir. of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Into the corner and slicing foul. Fouled off. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners, and what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And he'll step on first the for the out. Three the unassisted. Shortstop. Had to Yo protect ha. there with two strikes. And he Bar just Joe. got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Stepping up now, Johan Camargo. Ah. And Dan, it seems like this starter oh, is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And Three. he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, John Lester comes into this at bat 0 for 1 the in the ball game. John. Lester. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before.
The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fouled away. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Ian Ciarte's there, one down. The first baseman, number now 44. Now back to the top of the lineup, Anthony stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And it's gone as they add still another. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up the in the right sky, fielder, so he six. lifts this one up and Dick. out of here. Standing in now, Nicholas Castellanos. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batting. So bases are empty baseman. here with two gone. Chris and into bat next, Bryant. former National League MVP Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher now was batting. just trying to steal a the strike right there. I do not Javier think he expected Baez. to get ambushed Ladies on an 0-0 oh, oh, get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly now what happened. For the Braves. Into the box, Number Javier 54. Baez. Here's a Max. huge swing by Baez Freed. and a ball sent to deep left field. The Cunha has to retreat to the track. Welcome back to SunTrust Park just outside of Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said Way they've been chasing at the pitches Braves. out of the zone all game, which baseman. obviously doesn't usually Ozzie. lead to good results. Until Ozzie. they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. 0-2 oh, now from Lester. Line drive base hit. Settling in now, Rendell Gritchick. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Now Lester's 0 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0 2 now. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in the their batter. hands. He throws him on the fastball there. Oh, Randall Gritchick is dealt Lower. with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Tyler Flowers is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Albies stands at first with one out. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six. He's out. Three. Oh. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Striding in once again, Wilson Leading Contreras. He's set to lead the us catcher, off in the sixth 40, inning. Wilson Contreras. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip out. on to first to record the out. Up next for the Cubs, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Ready once again, Kyle Schwarber. He's lined out and flied out in two plate appearances. Popped him up. Albies is underneath this one. And that's out number two. The batter. Two the away now for the Cubs in the sixth. Jason and that'll bring up Hayward. the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. Line toward the alley in left center. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So that'll extend the inning and bring in Addison Russell to bat next. Now and that's hitting one on one the right there, guys. Hit. The only Addison way you're able to execute Russell. that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. Here's Addison Russell. This is line to left. Acuna is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Down goes. Your Nick Markakis is going to come off Pinch the bench the as he'll be asked to lead off number the bottom 22. of inning number six. Nick. Bryant Mark trying Hakes. to get there. And he fouls this one off.
Here's a swing and a high pop up. Bryant is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 11, Ender Enciarte. Here's Ender Enciarte. He was a ground out victim last time up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Swings through it for strike number two. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And it's fouled away. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. The batter, the left fielder, Ronald Now batting, Acuna. Ronald Acuna. Junior. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Eight. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh you know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger, 0-0. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed calibrate the break and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair and it remains 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castellanos has a read on it and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They're down 4 nothing. Your attention please. New now pitcher coming on, it'll be the hard. Number Albert Almora is Chicago. into the on deck circle now Number as he'll five. pinch hit for the pitcher Albert. Lester. Almora. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Acuna will wait on it, and he's got it for the first out. The first Anthony Rizzo will stand in again as he looks for Anthony home run number three Rizzo. in the ball game. as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at-bats. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Batting, Nevertheless, right fielder, there are two away Nick now. But hold on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. In now, Nicholas Castellanos. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Grichik. And that retires the Ladies side. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies Brandon Kinsler gets Your the call from please. the pen to take over now on the mound and start the, the home seventh. Number Good pitch there. Had him Brandon a little out in front. Kinsler. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right no there, ball, but you have right. to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. And here's Aye. a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Third trip to the, the plate for him here. He struck Josh. out and grounded out in his first two Donaldson. tries. Now the 0-1. Fouled off. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Here comes now the first pitch. Shortstop. Good deception Yo on the slider there as he's way out John in front. Margo. Lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's hitless in three at bats. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 
Darren O'Day has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do Braves. so to start the eighth. Number 56. Darren. Digging in once again, Chris O'Day. Bryant is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Oh, the count. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great oh, approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to now get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, Pop and they did damage with it. Bye, Here's the pitch. Grounded sharply, but right at that loaded side of the infield. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. The it looks like 40. to me that the Wilson. moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. A dive, but it'll get past him out in center, and this could roll till tomorrow. Baez ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate as they extend the lead to five-zip. Yeah, you want to applaud the effort as he sells out for it, but the now smarter batting. move would have been to fielder. take a deeper Kyle angle and cut the ball off. He does that, and the runner probably doesn't score from first. On the flip side, great piece of hitting right there. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Gritchick looks up. And it's gone. So it's a two-run homer for Kyle Schwarber. His fourth long ball of this series as this lead swells to seven to nothing. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, d -Row, what do you make of all this? d -Row, I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I Your think the hitters please. right now, they must be now seeing beach balls the up there right now with four bombs already in this one. Yeah, James. this lineup from top to bottom Carl. has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Ian Ciarte's there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Second now in the basement. box, Addison, Addison Russell. Russell. He lined Russell. out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dump. And the shortstop is under it to make the play, retiring the side. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He starts off the Lead inning off. against a guy who struck out the side the last inning. Baseman. How do they get to him Ozzie. here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they Ozzie. want to stay as patient. Right. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Swung on and chopped toward the hole. And he'll step on him. first himself for the out. The right fielder, number 19. He's set. Here it comes. Randall. And a cold Bridget. strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. Now batting. Catcher. Into the box Tyler. now. Tyler Flowers. Over oh, two on the afternoon so far. No balls in one strike. Now the pitch. Good the fastball oh, as he gets the swing and a miss. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he He's can out. hit it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Now we're going to have a Ladies conference at the home plate area, so it would please. appear that we'll see a double the switch here. Pinch hitting for Chicago. Victor Caratini will Number try to seven. get his club a little ninth Victor inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. High in the air out to center field. 
And Ciarte's there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. The next cub up, Anthony Rizzo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The right fielder, number well, six. Well, lefty on lefty. This Nick is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. Standing in now, Nicholas Castellanos, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Yeah, Matt, now it's hard to stay focused the on the game baseman. when the score is Chris this far out of hand, Ryan. especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. First offering on its way. Hit hard to short. And that's through a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they are runners at the corners now with now one away. Is. The shortstop. Next Javier will be the cleanup hitter, Baez. Javier Baez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. Now batting, a lot of things catcher. just kind of snowball Wilson. on you. One thing Contreras. leads to another, a big Your hit which leads please. to another, some bad now defense, some shoddy three. pitching. Next thing you know, Number you look 63. up and you're on the wrong side Jesse. of the hole. And he goes with the Fiddle. pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And that is off the wall in right field. Bryant blows through the stop he sign, takes. headed for home. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's now his batting. third RBI of the, the game and extends his team's Kyle lead. They might Morber. have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI Be right, right there for a little bit more breathing room. Kyle Schwarber stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Acuna's there for it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third oh, tags great. up. And the throw comes into third, but it's not in time, and it'll be scored a sack now fly batting. and an RBI. The center fielder, Jason So Hayward. digging in now, Jason Hayward. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Acuna waits on it, and that retires the side. It's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Nine, one, Your and two please. scheduled to lead off the bottom now of the ninth. For the it's Chicago the Cubs, Cubs 11, and the Braves nothing. Steve Strike one to Cichet. start the at-bat. Rolled slowly down that the third baseline. Down. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Ready with another two-strike offering. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Pretty textbook the pitching fielder, right there. Jump 11. ahead and count 0-2, and then start working outside the zone. Okay. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Ender and Ciarte. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. 
This one's down to third. On to first, oh. and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. The batter, the left fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Now at the plate, Ronald Acuna. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their Zero. final out. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Final strike for the Braves. A little oh, bit off the outside. Great. It's one and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's two a ball. tough pitch two to strike. lay off. Impressive that he did. And the Cubs are one step closer. They're going to the National League Championship Series. Well, my advice to them is to enjoy this moment, celebrate with teammates, and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS. They've wet their beaks with this postseason success. Now they want some more. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our tops player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back, and carried him to the victory. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our hardworking crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the National League Division Series.